Hello, so for drill number five, the question is asking, um, based on the virtual toe tag event, um, writing about three to five things I learned um, about the reality of migration at the U.S. Mex uh, slash Mexican border, and then how was a, the event a mode of artistic expression that voices opposition to certain political, economic, social, or other certain circumstances in a community, and which of these categories would you place the event and why? Um, I guess I didn't have to read it if everyone is doing the exact same journal, but uh, I guess I suppose I should stick with the format and go with it. Uh, anyways, so um, there wasn't, okay, so I'm going to say this is going to sound weird at first, but there wasn't much I learned necessarily about the reality of migration at the border because I feel like I am uh, somewhat knowledgeable about I wouldn't say obviously I know everything, but I am aware of the, it's not just, e it's not, e I know it's not easy to cross the border, and I knew that before coming into this, and I knew, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, I don't know the reality, obviously, that I couldn't even put myself in that situation, but I understand, I, under I understood things about this subject anyways moving on a little bit but some things I did learn um that I want to talk about is um some that they mentioned the like leading cause of death of when crossing the border is dehydration and hypothermia um and another thing I learned about was the term ambiguous loss which um, basically means family members friends Individuals can't properly grieve um, when someone goes missing because they don't know exactly what happened to them. Um, and also, I uh, they talked about um, the hostile terrain uh, being talking about it being dehumanization, also rehumanization, and hopefully rehumanization. Uh, someone had mentioned in the discussion at the end. Um, that it seems like, you know, just placing these individuals on um, a piece of paper and hanging it up, it seems, you know, that we don't know their names. It seems dehumanizing in a way, like just taking their names and putting it up for display. But then also at the same time, it's rehumanizing as in we're giving a name to these people um, and acknowledging, like, what happened to them and showing respect to them in a way um and paying like our pay yeah pay i'd say it's like paying our respects almost um and uh i i want to mention um the the two people i got uh were they were both unidentified males um and both of them were found in the um, in Pima, Arizona. In the I can't remember the name. It's um, let me look it up real quick. It's right here, the Toho Tohono Udham Nation. Um, in uh, both of their causes of deaths um, weren't even known because they were found as skeletal remains. Um, and just even even talking about it, like when I was filling it out, many people said it in the um, in the discussion, but it's just so hard to put into words exactly how it makes you feel. Like you just feel how do you how can you even express how sorry you are to someone who didn't make it? It just oh, it makes me so it makes me so upset, honestly. Like I was sitting there thinking about what to write on the back of my toe tag and I just could not come up with anything besides I am so sorry because I am like it's so it's heartbreaking knowing these people wanted to come here for a better life and for a better life for them and their families and it just they just didn't make it and it's they were so close to like right on the border and filling out those toe tags trying to put the fake give a name to um these people it just, I mean, it, 
there's so many names too. It puts it really puts it into perspective. I mean, it's not even. I bet it's not even. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I bet it's not even a fraction of the actual people who died trying to cross the border to come to the United States. And it gets you thinking too about immigration all across the world. Like it's like this. I mean, I I'm assuming it's very similar in a lot of places where people are trying to come to you know for a better life for you know better what better circumstances whatever and they just don't make it it's just so it's just it's heartbreaking like to say the least but um anyways i just kind of went on a rant but um uh then looking at the last question talking about cultural resistance i'd say this event falls under the um it voices opposition to both political and social circumstances political because we're acknowledging like the the acts and the, the laws um at the border and i forget exactly um what act they were talking about at the beginning of the lecture but they did mention something that um has made it more difficult for immigrants to come to the country and um and then that you know moving into the social there is such a there's so much like discrimination against immigrants and whether they are here legally or even um, or illegal or even legally, it's, I mean, it all falls under, honestly, racism. <laughs> like, you don't see people, I'm just going to go on a rant again, honestly, but um, anyways, so both political and social circumstances, um, acknowledging the, uh, the laws put in place um, at the border and also acknowledging the, um, the discrimination and the overall attitudes toward immigrants that we have in this country, um, which, yeah. So, uh, and just kind of one last statement about this. I think it's a really effect. It's honestly an effective way of getting people to think um, about the situation at the border. Um, even like me, who's who's known about. I feel like I've known about what's going on, and like I said, I feel somewhat knowledgeable about um, what's happening down there. Um, to fill out those tags and again put a, putting a name to the situation or lack of a name to a situation um it's something that i wish everyone at the school could experience um just i don't know it's really it's really difficult for me to explain for some reason but this was a um not necessarily i wouldn't say a fun event but it was a um thoughtful event it got me thinking it got me um like it's gonna be something i'll remember i that i did and 